science fiction double feature. Okay, not Rocky Horror Picture Show, but this is a double debt snowball update. Sorry that I have been gone so long. Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you are new to this channel, I am currently following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I am on baby step number two, paying off about $42,000 in debt. If you'd like to continue to follow me on my journey, click the little red subscribe button down below. It has been like a month since I have uploaded anything and I'm terribly sorry. 2019 was crazy. I started to slow down on things, which you guys already saw. And then I completely dropped off the face of YouTube. I apologize. Things just got crazy. I did not like the end of 2019, although things started to look up at the very end of 2019, and I'm looking forward to a great 2020. This is my year. There are some things that I would like to do, maybe get started again on budget updates. We'll see where things go, what I have time to do, you know, time management wise and everything but I definitely wanna catch you up on my debt snowball. That's why we're doing a double. I have the December debt snowball update to give you first, and then we can go into my January debt snowball update. If I can hopefully record a video kind of updating you guys on everything, I will do that. Otherwise, we might just roll into some regular videos going forward. I hope you all can understand why I needed a break. And then after Vlogtober and everything, I was completely burnt out and then life is just crazy and everything like that. I'm actually out of town for work, so this might not look the best because the lighting situation is different, the table situation is different, but I wanna get this recorded. So I'm here inside of the hotel room trying to record this. It's actually pretty exciting. December is a good one. January is good too but I am so excited to share this with you guys. Here's a quick recap of my debt snowball layout. Down here at the bottom is my debt graveyard. These are the previous consumer debts that I paid off. And then I am left with just my student loans, which is number seven on my list. Once I got to the student loans, I broke those down into the seven individual loans, which is 7A, through 7G. The dates here are just the dates that I took out each individual loan. It helps me keep track of which one is which. And the S's and the U's are subsidized and unsubsidized loans, just for people that are curious about that. Over here is the minimum payment for each because they each have their own minimum payment, but since it's all through the same company, I pay one minimum payment and it makes these payments for me. I do round up though, so these last two amounts here actually come out to $50.31, but I round it up to an even $55. Let's start with loan number six. In November, I was just under $1,300. I was able to pay $1,274.00. That, along with the minimum payment, paid it off. Number six is done, out of the way. We're down to just one loan left. Of course, it's the biggest loan, about $7,000, but we're down to just one loan, guys. So I was super excited. I really wanted to share it with you guys. I just got so caught up in everything and then caught up with all the Christmas stuff and work crazy and life was crazy. But now I get to share it with you guys because I was so excited and figuring this out again and reliving that moment, I really am so excited. It's a little bit farther removed now since it's been, you know, a little over a month since I took those numbers, but bringing it back up, looking at the numbers, I am so excited to have that paid off and be on my last loan. On top of that, I was able to put $614.26 at the last loan. This brings it down to $6,301.57. So close to 6,000. So that means my total amount, we're only dealing with one loan anymore. So I just need to plug that amount down into the total and we got $6,301.57. That's awesome. I'm so happy about that. So the total actual paid 
for the month, which is these two snowball amounts plus the $55 minimum payments, made my actual paid $1,943.64 for the month, which is, I think is really, really good. That means the total actual paid over my whole debt-free journey, $41,129.61. One cents. Now the total down because of interest and everything this month is $1,919.69. That means I lost $23.95 to interest. And over the course of my whole debt-free journey, it has gone down $35,986.76. Which means over my whole debt free journey, I have lost $5,142.89. Now, that interest is definitely slowing down, but it still stinks to have to pay interest to anybody. And soon I won't have to do that. These numbers here are just extra nerd numbers because I know some of you out there appreciate that. Let's move on to January. Here we are. New Year. Last year, I never ended up doing a goal video, but I did write down my goals for 2019, and I really hope I can make a video, even if it comes out a little later than January, where I go over my goals with you, because I think I did really well for 2019 as far as my debt payoff and income and all of that goes. And now we're gonna start a new year, 2020, I'm hoping this year is pretty decent as well. Although I don't know if I will be as gazelle intense, but I do hope to still be a little intense. I just went really hard at the debt last year and I can't wait to go over those full numbers with you. Let's dive right into the numbers that I pulled on the 1st of January. Now that that six student loan was paid off, the minimum payment actually went down to just that 28 49, which I went ahead and rounded up to $30 even. And the amount that I was able to put towards the debt snowball, $1,550.80. That brings that total down to $4,739.99. Don't know why I forgot to write total here. But all I have to do now is bring that number down to the bottom and that is my total debt left. $4,739.99. We're under $5,000 guys, under $5,000. I see that finish line, it is coming up. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Now, the total actual paid, which is that debt snowball amount plus the $30 is $1,500. $80.80, which is still, I think, a really good amount. With a fluctuating income, it's hard to tell how much I can put towards debt in any given month. January is notoriously my slowest month, so I don't have high hopes for getting even $1,500 paid in January when I show you my February debt snowball update. The total actual paid, for my whole journey so far is $42,710.41. If it wasn't for interest, my debt would be paid off because I started off with $42,288.29. It's crazy that I put almost $43,000 towards debt in a little less than three years. Mind blowing. Imagine what I could do with that money. But before this journey, I was never really super intentional with my money as I should have been. This journey has definitely changed what I plan on doing with my money in the future and my intentionality, and hopefully I can keep that going. The total down for the month was $1,561.58, which means I lost $19.22 to interest. Smaller and smaller interest by the month. My total down for my whole debt journey is $37,548.30, which brings my total loss to interest up to $5,162.11. That is it. 
I brought you up to speed on how my debt snowball is going. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I really hope to get back in motion. We'll start to get the ball rolling again and see how things go from here. I appreciate everybody that watches my journey. You guys are all amazing and I love your support so much. And I'm sorry that I haven't really kept you guys updated because I really appreciate all of you. And I do like to keep you in the loop and I just kind of dropped off the face of the earth there. But hopefully I can get back into things a little bit more again. I will of course put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.